Today we are mining Monero on P2 Pool through one simple application that works on Linux, macOS and Windows. This is possible thanks to Gubax. That stands for Graphical User Interface Uniting P2 Pool and XMRIG. Before we start, we need our own XMR wallet. My Monero GUI video from last year is still pretty much up to date, so I'll link it for you in the top right corner. Other options are listed on getmonero.org, all linked below. Now let's get to Gubax itself. On the homepage, we can choose between bundle and standalone versions. Bundle includes the miner we want, XMRIG. As very often with any mining software, it will be flagged by your antivirus. So best is to add an inclusion for the folder. Now we can take a look at the software itself. A very simple interface that tells us all we need. The special thing about Gubax is that it works by mining on P2 pool. That makes it pretty unique as it's more accessible for weaker machines instead of you having to wait for weeks and months to reach a payout. Linked is another video that explains what P2 pool is and thus if you want to understand more of behind the scenes. It's an impressive piece of tech, honestly. In the P2 pool tab, we also start with our settings. After our address, we need to choose a Monero node. With Gubax, we have all the tools for mining itself, but simplified nodes are what allow us to communicate with the Monero network. To keep it simple, we will be using a remote node that Gupax is recommending instead of setting up our own. This lets you easily mine from any machine. The disadvantage is that if you are away from your machine and the remote node you chose was to go down, your mining will be interrupted. On your own node, you control your uptime more easily. And yeah, I owe you a video on setting up a remote node for a long time now. But let's keep it easy for today and get mining again. The most important thing. In the background, you see Gubax getting up to date on the P2 pool chain that took less than five minutes. Perfect. You can see P2 pool indicated as running by the green dot on the bottom. Next up is the XMRIG tab, which is the miner itself. You see this really is simplified. In the simple mode, the most important thing for us is the number of threads you want to have mining. You'll have to experiment a little bit depending on your system. Not only your core clock, voltage and RAM play a role here, also all the L1 to L3 cache of your CPU. Try to play around here and compare to find your sweet spot. I know that with very light work, I can still get away with 12 to 18 threads on my 3900X without feeling it. When I go too crazy with different browsers and tabs, I noticed it's better to go down to 10 to 12, rather for stability than mining performance. Again, on machines like this, I rather let it mine without me noticing it, instead of getting the maximum out. Once it is running, we can check everything in the status tab. I love this interface. No need to check anything poolside like usually everything in one window. So here you see your hash rate, even your payouts since P2 pool works by directly sending to your wallet. My test trick for these kind of videos is always my old editing machine with its 3900X Ryzen. Even with a very low hash rate because of doing screen recordings and going back and forth, I only needed about two and a half hours to find my first share on P2 pool. That's incredible. With the first payout maybe one and a half hours later, the next share was 12 hours in total. That's a bit more realistic. And then 24 hours later, I was rather lucky again. 7 shares found in one day is not bad at all for one CPU. Also speaking of chips, on the Gubax status page under benchmarks, you can also compare your own CPU and hash rate to others of the same kind. It's great info. It will be totally off now of course as it changes immediately when I start screen recording, but you can never have enough data to check and compare. This almost motivates me to get more CPUs, but another time. That's already it. You are now mining Monero extremely easy. This app significantly reduces any setup time, especially for any additional rigs and machines. 
or even just for idle mining on older stuff without having to wait for pool payouts, rather using P2 pools decentralized technology. I'm stoked and the world of mining needs more simple applications like this.